Hello guys, hope you have been having a great day. In this video, I want to tell you guys about solid state memory. So, solid state memory is the first thing that will probably come to your mind is RAM, that is random access memory, and ROM, that is read only memory. So, these are the two things we have been told about since since kindergarten or something okay so there are many other types of solid state memories that are available to us so based on their volatile or non volatile so some of them are prom ep rom e e w p rom and no RAM. So the first thing is PROM. It stands for Programmable ROM. So as the name indicates, uh, it is programmable, which means you can write whatever content or whatever program you want to do put it in it. So what the speciality of this is the RAM of the device, the ROM is shipped in an empty or a semi-programmed state. So the user can get to write his own program into the PROM. But once you have written your program in this PROM, it cannot be erased, which means you can program it once and if you want to erase it you'll just have to replace the prom with another rom the next one is erasable and programmable rom which means you can erase whatever you have programmed and you can reprogram it but the thing with this rom is you need to erase it with UV light. So this RAM is also called UV ROM. You need UV light to erase the data that you have written into it and then you can reprogram it. The major disadvantage of this EP ROM is it takes time for UV exposure and whenever you are erasing it the entire contents in the ROM get erased which means you do not have any control over which bits you want to erase. So these are the two major drawbacks when you use an EP-ROM. When you use an EEP-ROM which stands for electrically erasable and programmable ROM yeah I think you have made it out. This EEP ROM can be erased electrically from your system and you can reprogram it. So this helps us overcome the difficulties of the EEP ROM. The NOV ROM and the NOV RAM sorry is a non-volatile RAM. So this is a combination of a RAM and an EEP ROM. So when power failure happens, the data in the RAM is stored in the EEP ROM. And when the power comes back, the data is shifted back into the RAM again. So in this way, we have these types of solid state memories other than the conventional ROM and RAM that we have always been taught about. Hope you found this video informative. Thank you and have a lovely day.